Uh, kick it. Nice. Awesome. So, iti futago, which is number one, the twins. And I'm going to split this up like this, having the thing that's being spoken being by one person, and then I'll have someone else do this line for the start. So, these two sentences here will go to um, treat. Uh, sore de uh, tsuki uh, uh, ki, kimari. Hai, kimari. Kimari da. Um, kore ijo hanasu koto wa nai. The next sentence too, Mani? No, just that part. Okay, so this said, um, sort of that. With that, uh, kimari da, it was decided that. Hi. Kore de ijo hanasu koto wa nai. There's no, no more discussion about this. Perfect. And the next line right here will go to Danny. Tsukue no muko ni suwata otoko ga ita, which means um, the said the man sitting on the other side of the desk. Perfect. Mo hono yomi hajimete iru. Um, he's already started reading a book. And next line goes to tree. Um. Futari no kodomo kodomo wa uh um bun bun good guess heya heya he ya o dete doa o uh, kumeta something close shimeru uh, yes shimeta so uh futari two 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 something two two kodomo two uh two kids uh to also two kid uh where came into the room hey yeah or appear um and the door open oh no no the door shut yeah they basically you could say they um entered the room and closed the door i guess they all did that it should be yeah entered that room because it should be hey a cut out being leaving the room is it yeah. leaving or that day I always get them. It's a uh, dete because das it is the other version. Das it. Das it. Mm. Dete. It should be they left the room and closed the door. Sorry, <laughs> not entering the room. So they they use the room as a passageway in order to go outside. Because if they ended up in the room, then I'd be like eh. So that's why it's oh, sorry. It's uh they left the room and closed the door. Um. So these next two lines right over here will go to Danny. Uh, I lost where. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Otosan wa bokutachi o oi uh, harai oi harai itai da, dakeda. Hi, um, uh, harai itai. Harai itai. Uh, harai, harai, what? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a harai tai. The, it is harai and then tai. Um, but tai, you know, is that want, right? Mm -hmm, it's yeah. like ED. Okay. Um, I had a little bit of trouble with this one in the middle here, but mm -hmm. uh, some the dad uh, s simply something about dad and us mm -hmm. and he wants want, to had out. Simply wanting to, but then the the oi oi harai. Mm -hmm. I was so, stuck on that. Yeah. So o means to chase something, and harao means to sweep, like the sweep garbage out of your house or to sweep away a paycheck, things like that. Mm -hmm. So when you chase something in order for it to be sweeped out, that means to drive away something. Mm. So it's saying, oh, all he wanted to do was drive us away, as in he wanted to yeah. kick us out of the house. I think I got confused because I was, I like, I think the English translation is he wants to get rid of us. Mm, probably. And he, because he's not driving them away, right? Like he has, or is he? Um. So... He doesn't want this, us around. This is a conversation two people are having. So mm -hmm. you are correct that um, it mentions later on by Alana that she's like, no, um, he doesn't want to drive us away. He doesn't give any Fs about us in the first place. Yeah. Um, but here, it's, it's just what the, the brother is saying. He's saying, ah, he just wants to 
throw us away, kick us out of the house. He wants to drive mm -hmm. us away. So that's yeah. just a, a little thing. And can you also do the little line right over there as well, Danny? Uh, oh, uh, otoko no ga tsu, tsubu yaita. Hi. Uh, the boy muttered. Perfect. And the next line, which is what also the boy is saying, is going to go to tree. Hi. Real quick, Mani. This mm -hmm. first chapter, futago, fut futago is twins. like twins. Hi. Yes. And the futari here was two people because these two children are twins. There's two of them. <coughs> Uh, boku tachi no, mm, something scary like kibo. Uh, Good guess. Kibo. It does look like kyofu, so that was a kibo. Kibo nante do demo inda. Um, it, the statement is that um, our hope, such a hope, nante do demo. Uh, uh, such a, our hope was such, <laughs> in that, like, it's good. It would be good. As it is good. Demo e, um, says no matter what, it would be good, but it's usually like, they don't give any Fs because no matter what the result is fine. So they just don't care in other words. So they don't care at all about um, our keyboard which um does mean hope but in this case it's more like prospects right because they're um the context is like the dad is wanting to kick the kids out of the house so that's the context we have so far of the story because we're just starting it so can he's you just saying now yes yeah i can hear you oh, Yay! I'm so sorry about that i apologize <laughs> it's not your fault you're having tech issues it's a tech's fault that's how it goes it's so Zoom. happy it's working yeah <laughs> How dare you? All right, where are we? Okay, so we have just finished paragraph two because each time someone talks, okay. it's like a new person, kind of. Though I guess it's the same boy talking for both lines. But yeah, it's like <laughs> that's one paragraph. Ah, that's the second one. Um, so yeah, we're still on the first page. But yeah, it ends up with the dad has no hopes at all for us. Um, what is what is the nante? Nante. So this is something that is kind of hard to translate. It is basically just a word that is underlining what came right before it in a like very exasperated kind of way. Mm -hmm. So it's like adding the word something like to the sentence, like he doesn't care anything about uh, something like us or something like mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of like that. So it, how you translate it really just depends on context. I'm not always the best, but it's just is this showing how um, aggress like how much he doesn't care about this if you said kibo do demoi that feels very pacific he specifically he only doesn't care about their prospects but mm. this is more of a generic statement he doesn't care like about our prospects or our hobbies or anything like that so it just mm. kind of helps make the thing bigger but it's always like negative it's like not a positive bigger type of thing mm. Thank um you. So the, all the way till the period, so the talking and the person quoting, we'll go to Stella. All right, so we're starting at Sonan no wak Wakate. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, good. Sonan no Wakate ta koto janai to omo to you no onanoko no kota e Tata. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> like it's hard when you just got a whole lot of hiragana there and you're like, where are the subject rubrics? <laughs> mm -hmm. it's, it's also been about 10 years since I've seriously studied Japanese, yeah. so I'm a bit <laughs> rusty. You got the kanji Oji... all good. <laughs> I, I took notes. Oji san wa donna koto mo do temo in da kara taisatsu wa taisatsu na. Na noa honto ma mono dake. Hi, so in this case, the ma would have the insinuated key here. This is not mm. super common. This normally happens with titles for things. Like, um, but one thing that does as well is iriguchi, which is not a title. But where if you take that on, it's still iriguchi, it's not iguchi. The d is insinuated by context, where it's like just because there's an insinuated word. 
Um, mm. it does, so that's what that is. It's a makimono, even though it doesn't have the key there. So the first line, I feel like it's kind of hard. Sonna wakatte ta koto janai. What do you think that means? Mm, so it's kind of like, oh gosh, like it doesn't. It's got a lot of feeling to it. I feel um, there is quite a bit of feeling in here. That's right. Um, it's especially kind that sonna no. It's kind of like nante. Mm -hmm. But like reverse what it's modifying. So some no modifies afterwards and Nante modifies before words. Um, what does uh wakatta koto mean? Wakatte ta koto. That's the most important part of the sentence. All right, one second. I am so sorry. I'm looking up my notes. Hi. Waka wakaru. That's our verb. Yes, that's understand. Yeah, and then we took koto, which is the word for things. Uh, things, and yes. It's like multiple things. He doesn't understand things. He doesn't understand things. That that is definitely a way you could translate that. In this specific context, it's actually saying that is a thing that is understood. The thing being um, the the last mentioned thing was that the dad wants to kick him out of the house. So, but that's a very context-based thing, which is why koto and things like that are really hard. So it's saying dad wanting to throw us out. That is under that is a understood thing. Is it though with the Janai? Is that understood? Mm, not so much. Yes, that is not something we actually know. We don't actually know such a thing as that. And such a thing, the Sona is what's oh. actually letting us know that the Koto is referring to the thing over here, which is the Otosan wa boku tachi wo oi harai tai dake da. So that, that so the sona knows I guess really important to know what the koto is modifying because it's that thing that previously mentioned thing is being um, aggressively like I hate that. But yeah. She, wait, she's saying she doesn't act. They don't actually know that he doesn't. Yes. Like they that? don't actually know that the dad wants to drive him out of the house. Mm. It is not a known thing. Such a thing as that. Is what it says, would be like a literal translation. But yeah, it's just saying what you're saying. That's not necessarily true. Is uh, mm. how you could I would say is more a natural way of saying that. Um, so yeah, Stella, what is the toyu no ga ona no ko no kotai datta? Um, it's like the girls. Um, what's kota again? Kotae from kotaire. That is answer. Ah, answer. So that's just kind of like it was her answer. It was her answer. To the, um, to the boy's question. It is what it says. Like the fun she thing with said in reply. So in a way, it's like that, but literally, it really just says that that the thing that was the the thing that was said was the an was the answer and the answer mm. was given from the girl which is an answer to his question so reply does work good for um because that sounds better in english so that was the girl's reply is totally mm. totally a good way to translate that and since i think so we're gonna have someone else take a turn even That's though you already fine. read the sentence just so that we have fun have Fit flop between lots of people. So this next long little line is going to go to tree. You don't have to read it out loud, tree, if you don't want to, or you could read it out loud, whatever you prefer. Are we reading from what? Oto san wa donna kotomo. Oto san wa donna kotomo. Do demo inda kara. Because. Because in the kara, because it is good. So I do, did mention earlier what, what do demo e means, right? Do demo, whatever. Uh, yeah. uh, what, whatever the case, um, whatever the, 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 the outcome, it would be mm -hmm. uh, because whatever the outcome, it is good. Exactly. Oto uh, san wa, regarding our father, um, do donna koto mo even even if that was such a even if that was such a case referring to the koto which is the the fact that they were usher out of the room 
uh, such a thing. In this case, the koto isn't that, but I do see why you'd guess that because the sota's not here. Uh, wait, so which <laughs> this koto is, is this? This is just a generic koto. Donna koto mo do demo in dakara. So it just says no matter what the thing is, no matter what we do, it is fine. So do demo in means no matter what you do, it's fine. And donna koto is kind of like no matter what is the outcome. So he's just kind of just doing this times twice. Just saying the dad really, really, really doesn't care. Uh, which is the only thing he cares about are books and squirrels. Okay, now it's time for the next, next page. And now we're going to be doing Danny. Why don't you do the first, um, why don't you do the whole paragraph? I'll make you do a long one since Stella got a long one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, give it a shot. Otokonoko wa tabe o tataita tata ma I hate this word always. Yeah. Tataita. Did I do that one right? Yep. Okay. Boku wa kishinante naritakunai maho. Maho tsukai ni naritain da ma mamono o taoshite kamigami no seikai ni ite. Is that the whole paragraph? That is the whole paragraph. Okay, my goodness. <laughs> okay, the boy uh, struck the wall. I, or the male I, like, does not, does, does not want to become a knight, and it has that same nante, which is the, like, emphatic negative. Hi, hi. I, I don't want to be something like a knight. Perfect. Negative. Um, uh, maho tsukai, I want to be a magic user. Um, ni nari tainda. I want to become a magic user. Ma mono o tao shite. Tao also means to defeat. Specifically, to knock down is the literal meaning, but it's used to mean defeat in this kind of context. I want to defeat demons. Uh, kamigami no seikai, the world of the gods, ni ite. I want to go to the world of the gods. Perfect. I want to. And the next little line will go to Stella. It's a uh, talking plus the whatever. All right. Atashi. Sorry, this is very small on my screen. Atashi ka arudai ni naritai. I used to know this. What's the reading of that kanji? Is it omo? omo. Yes. Okay. Omo te iru. Um, otoko no ko no. That's a uh, sister. Younger sister? Mm. Hi. Mm. I can't remember that one. Imoto. You know she? Imoto. Imoto ga tazuneta. Hi, and here it says lady, even though it is kifujin. It just mm -hmm. says lady outside. Oh, the katakana always confuse me. Thank you. So, what does tazuneta mean? I don't remember. That's to ask. Ah. Uh, so who's asking? Otoko no ko no imoto. Mm -hmm. The girl. Hi, the girl. The little sister. sister the, the, the little sister of the brother yeah. <laughs> is the one that asked. <laughs> and the question is, Atashi ga reiri ni naritai to demo omoteru? Do you think I want to be a lady? Exactly. 
with Atashi. Go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. I, it, I'm just, like, noting that Atashi is, like, an interesting pronoun to use there. Yeah. Um... So I, I feel like an incredible yeah. noob, but I had never seen uh, Watashi as Atashi or Anata as Anta before. Oh. And I was surprised. Is that just slang? Does anybody say it? Like, is there a particular, like, segment of the Japanese so, population that says it? Um, from my understanding, yes, Atashi is used, um, but... I don't really talk a lot in Japanese. I'm, it's I'm more very, of an anime fan. very feminine. <laughs> yeah, um, it's, it's extremely feminine. Okay. Uh, so it's it's not as common as like watashi. Um, like, I only I, know I had a I... Japanese teacher that said watakushi, which is also very rare, but she was like really old. <laughs> what the hell I know is watakushi is actually used by old. old does, that mean, does that mean that it is used by women to refer to themselves or it's yes. a. Yes. is I. But but like the the other one is Anta. Anta. That's you. Does, does that mean does that mean that the subject in that case is feminine or the speaker is feminine? Um. Uh. Yeah, Anta is pretty. The speaker should be feminine, but who she's talking to is not necessarily a girl. I would say it's more common that whoever you're talking to is a man. Mm hmm. I would say it's more common that Anta would pop up. Um. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And then uh, Tree, your turn. Hi. Um, yukuri. Uh, san. Good idea. It does look like Sanpo, uh, but it's Aruku. Uh, aru, aru, aruki nai sai. Uh, yukuri, hurry up. You, quickly. Yukuri uh, san, san ki na sai. Quickly. Walk quickly. Hi. Yukuri aruki na sai means um walk slowly oh you pity it slowly you goody is to take your time to do something properly wakata uh please take your time uh arai arana arana, arana is the name of the girl hi um uh oh no to to onna onna no ko wa uh, it was right. good no. guess so so um kidoru is do you know what that means uh ki ki is like uh, ki is the vibes you take off and toru <laughs> is to take but when you take vibes it means you're pretending to have those vibes so this means to imitate in this context so the girl is imitating and itaing. What does ita mean? Itaing is the past tense of iu. Hi, to say. So she said something, imitating somebody, as in imitating what people will do to ladies, which is, yukuri aruki nasai, arana, which is, Alana, you walk, walk, don't run, Alana, right? Act like a lady, have your head up high, that type of idea. Take, take your time walking, Alana. Don't go running about. Um, no please in there. Nasai is like the is like a mom telling you to do something or like it's like that kind of vibe. Mm. <laughs> um so the next one is gonna go to um Danny, which is just gonna be the next quotation marks. Uh I suck at reading <laughs> vertically. So okay, so it's like all the way to the bottom. Okay. Uh, uh Jito Osuat. Osuaru na sai, uh, please, or sit still, still, uh, sit still, Oana. Uh, kato sagete, sagete, shoulders. We would say shoulders back, but that means like shoulders down, Oana. Um, maru de taisetsuna no wa sorry dake. Um. So it the the most important thing um me tiny uh to uh so mitai doesn't really have a two in there. Um mitai is that na adjective, mitaina, sakana mitaina 
You see a rock that looks like a fish? What? <laughs> mi mitai? <laughs> mitai is a not adjective. It's like a uh neko mitai na inu would be a dog that is like a cat, right? So mm. mitai is just like. So it's mm. as if is how I translate in a specific context. Mm -hmm. It's as if the only thing that matters is just that is what that says. Mm, sorry, Dake, like that alone. Mm -hmm. That alone is, is the, the most thing. important thing. Yes, which yep. is the acting like a lady, walking slowly, Alana, shoulders back, Alana. You've got to go sit still, Alana. Tis, tis, tis. So yes. next will be <laughs> Stella, which will go until this paragraph ends. Sorry, I'm trying to get the whole thing on the screen. I know, it's hard. Ah, still I got kicked <laughs> off. Oh no. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> the te technical issues. Ah. I, yeah, I did, I get a hard one for her because it starts with on and then goes. It's, <laughs> it's the sad thing about Japanese books is that they um, will just, in the middle of a word. <laughs> I did think that that was super weird as I was reading and I was like, uh, you don't uh, want to keep that thought together <laughs> yeah uh, nope yeah like in english we ha don't do that <laughs> we, we separate like sometimes you'll have a comma yeah like, or like some indication that it's rounding to the next line and they were yeah, just like not, nope. not in japanese <laughs> we don't do that at all which is very very confusing they do it a little bit in manga at least but um, it's interesting where in manga they'll do the splits because it's not where like an English speaker I feel like would want to do the spits. Just it's just like fun. Hi Stella, sorry you got kicked off. Hear me. <laughs> Hi, keep going. Okay, in. was that me or I, it seemed like I, it was wow. you? <laughs> okay, cool. Um, well, yeah, it starts with onanoko and then it starts this over there it's right now like literally the tiniest text hang on <laughs> let me try pulling it like i'm trying I'm so zoom. hard I'm... i can i can make this right here to just start with oh no it's not it's it's literally <laughs> like an inch by inch on my screen right now <laughs> um i'm try. i'm so sorry <laughs> you're doing great stella <laughs> very kind <laughs> The, the the issue with tech 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 can be hard. Are you on yeah. your phone or a computer? I am on a computer, which is great. Huh. You think if you had it in full screen, it would be pretty big? There's only the no. The I'm line. seeing your profile picture right now. I oh. so, I'm so sorry. Oh. Guys. maybe change uh, the view. I think your view is yes. The upper right corner. Uh, so there's an icon called view. I've got set to standard. I think you want yeah, full standard, screen. Standard, it's really big for me. Oh. Click all the buttons. See what happens. <laughs> With full screen, I get cold. Go, you go, go to a side by side gallery and see no, what you're happens. doing good. Okay. I, I, I made it really tiny. <laughs> all right, but yeah, that cold wall was perfect. All right, I've got part of it covered up by the view thing, I think. Okay, I can go like that. <laughs> but yeah, it starts with onano, and that's just on the other page. Okay. I'm looking. Could you point to it? Ah, the part that I can't see, yes. <laughs> it starts oh, start with the call, yeah. <laughs> Onanako o mimete mimeta. I don't think that's the right part. Yeah, it's a uh, yukuri. So, onanako wa yuku, sorry, yuka. I don't want to say yukuri. Yuka o ittari. I was reading something else entirely. Oh. <laughs> I, okay. Onanako wa yukari o ita. Hari akita rishita. 
And then the tai to don't the tai do ni kate kiru ha hazu. Hi hi. Um the tai do ni ka dekiru. I'm just separating that for you. All right. Dekiru hazu do ni ka. Um, but yeah, what does Onanako wa yuka o itari kitari mean? Uh, English would start with the kitari and then say the itari. Doesn't really matter, but it's just kind of funny. I'm not sure. I'm so sorry. I'm very Hi. flustered right now. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. All the tech issues. Do you know what kudu means? Um. It's like movement, right? It is a kind of movement. Both of these are movement words. Kuru means to come. Like going and... back and forth. Going back yes, and forth. That is what itari kitari means. She's going back and forth. She's going back and forth over the yuka. Do you know what yuka means? Is that floor? It is the floor. Ground? Yes. She goes, she paces back and forth on the ground. Okay. And she says, Jetai tonika dekiru hazu. You know what hazu means? As it I means that was gonna ask. should should be able to. Ah, uh, there's definitely able. something to do. Should yeah, there should do. definitely be something I can do. Perfect. That's exactly what it says. Nice. And um, the next two lines are going to go to Dell. It's going to who? Oh, uh, Dell. Danny, I don't know why I said Dell. <laughs> I got the Dell computer in front of me, maybe. <laughs> okay. Um, otoko no ko wa, um, otoko, ona no ko o mitsumeita, uh, so the boy stared slash looked at the girl. Hi. Uh, Trebondo? Ye no Tomuto Orano wa. So Tom and Alana of House Trebond. Uh, Futog Ode. They are twins. Uh, futari to Tomo. Fu, futari to. Uh, tomo, your right goes together. It's just a way to say both. Okay. Futari Tomo both. Akage ni. Uh, Murasaki Kiro no me o shite iru. They both have red hair and purple eyes. Perfect. And this, um, next, it's like one line, but it has a big comma in the middle. Like it's going to go to tree. Ondo no hito ni hotte. Utari no chi. Ga. Uh, iwa. Utari no chigai wa itotsu dake. Kage no kami no ke. No nagasa nagasa dake da. Hi. You know what chigai means? Chigai. It's like chigao, but in the it is chigao in the noun form exactly. So they're different. Utari no chigai wa. Their difference is that um, hitotsu dake. Only one of them. Oh no, that's hitori. It's hitotsu. Hitotsu, one person. No, it's hitori. It's hitotsu. Hitotsu is one thing. Yes. Oh, they only had one thing that is different. Hi. What was it? It is the Nagasa Dakeda. The length. Nagasa is the length. Only length of what? The length of the kami no. Um, kami no ke. That's just the hair. We just would say hair. 
um, Kami is hair, and Kit just makes us know for sure we're talking about the hair on their head. I... <laughs> Versus, like, I don't know, armpit hair or something. It's just, it's just a way to be more specific, Kami no Kit. Uh, you wouldn't say Kami no Nagasa. That just sounds, this sounds weird. I don't know why. Um, so this is that is their one difference. Is that their one difference like everybody agrees or is it a difference that only certain people agree? Hotondo, everyone, hotondo no hito, ni tote, according to everyone. It's for according to most people. So not everyone. Maybe their mom thinks they look different in other ways. But for most people, hotondo means most. Most human beings. <laughs> it's like 90% are like, those are identical twins. Um, but they have other differences. Um, and the next line here, we'll go to Stella. <sighs> oh. What's the reading of that first one? Kao face. Kao. <sighs> okay. Kao mo se katsuko mo nanjite fu. Ku so ga nan nanjinara so kutari mietada ro. Hey, so this does look like nan from nani, but it's all uh, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. Hi, hi. And this does say uh, katsuko, and it's kind of hard, but with furi, with furigana, they don't show you when tu is small tu. It's actually mm. kakko, se kakko. Mm. Um, the way you could tell is that eventually, whenever you say a k and then a tu, it's always going to be small tu. That's just like a mm. sound rule in Japanese. You don't say tuku, so, like, unless it's like a verb, I'm talking about like inside of nouns. As furigana, if there's a K sound and a T, it's always going to be small T. So it also shows up with like hapyo and stuff like that. That's a P. So that same thing kind of real happens. Ah, sorry. I just moved everything around. <laughs> okay. So Perfect. it's saying that they um, look very alike, that they have like that same face and they just look very similar. Yeah, they got the same face, they got the same kind of body structure. They also have the same soul fuku. Sorry, fuku soul. What does that mean? Clothing? Yes. Apparently they have the same clothing. <laughs> I think they'd wear different clothes, mm. but Amanda probably is like, I'm not wearing a dress. You wouldn't Wait, see that me Nara way. that Nara is if, right? So if yes. they were wearing the same clothing. Oh, you're right. Um, um, you're right. <laughs> that makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> yep. They, Look, I they was over here saying non G so <laughs> <laughs> right, Nada. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It would look exactly so. You're totally correct. Good, good notice on that. Um, Danny, next paragraph for you. Uh, did we do the bottom half of that? The uh, so kurini miete da gava. Yeah. <laughs> if they wore the same clothes, they'd look exactly the same. Uh, they would look exactly the same. Okay. Uh, shogai yo. Um, it is hopeless slash unavoidable. Um, Tomu wa orana ni ita, said Tom to orana. Ashita uh, omai, omai wa shudon ni ite. Uh, tomorrow uh, you will go to the convent. Um, boku wa kyuden ni iku. I will go to the palace. So kima tanda. It's been decided. Perfect. Can yeah. I share a gripe really fast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. This book put furigana on ashta, which is a word I absolutely do not need help with. <laughs> but and not for not put furigana on convent. <laughs> I know why not. Apparently, what Ashta heck? is not a fourth grade level book. I mean, fourth grade level kanji. I guess it makes sense because right, this right here is he and Tachi, and they're like, why is it pronounced as Ashta here? It's not uh, Aka. Mm -hmm. Like it's an irregular reading. 
Mm. But like you think that like, just would be like a boca word that did be and four people are that are wandering around being like, I sure know how to get to the convent, but <laughs> I have no idea how I'm getting to tomorrow. Yeah, it's it's just kind of funny how there's like that huge difference. Like not huge, but like it's a weird difference between like what you learn as a Japanese student and what apparently you just would know as a someone from Japan. It makes some sense because shudo just means training. Mm. Even though you might not know the word convent, and in is like for building. Institution. So, yeah, institution. So, institution for building is the. <laughs> so, yeah. I was like, what is this word? Why is there no food in Ghana? I have but, another newbie question about that one hi, as hi. well. I had not seen omai to mean you before. Like, is there context around when you refer to somebody as um, uh, omai? Oh, if there's ever, whenever you see a O in front of my, that always means you. It's, mm -hmm. it's not, it's just a you in Japanese is avoided. My is what you're talking about without mm -hmm. a O in front of it is the front, right? Uh, I think mm -hmm. that's what you think. There's never going to, ever going to be a O in front of front to mean front. Mm. Wait, but O my means you or just the yes. O does? No, um, so, um, so omae is the word front with o in front of it. O mm -hmm. as a marker is a marker of politeness. And mm -hmm. there is never an occasion where the location in front of you deserves respect. <laughs> there's, there's no yeah. reason why you should do that. So if you're yeah. adding respect, to the location in front of you, you're referring to the person standing in that oh. location because that person deserves respect. Um, however, oh. because Japanese people are sarcastic, as many people are, omai oh no longer is used as a way to say you respectfully and instead tends to be a little bit rude to be like, hey, you standing in front of me. Oh, you can't, Mr whatever kind of like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's why a lot of times it's good to avoid use in Japanese because they're they're almost always kind of sarcastic so mm. omai is you but it's not really polite um he's talking to his sister so it's okay mm -hmm. but better to use their name but yeah that, that's why it is it's because you're saying this the person in front of me you who i'm not going to say their name mm -hmm. pretty he's a here's some respect so same with otaku that's another word that's become um sarcastic most people most of us if you know japanese know what an otaku is that's normally a word to refer to um uh, a nerd who likes anime and collects stuff and mm. stays at home. Taku just means house. Otaku mm -hmm. is he, like the person who lives in the house. The house person. So they're saying you're a neat. So it's, it's one of those words that became sarcastic. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh yeah, you're otaku. You're that, that guy that lives in your house. And you're like, so it's, 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 a, it's relatively common for polite Japanese to be used as a sarcastic thing. Well, well, so Look at that. I got them. Uh, that, that's where that that's why it can't it's always you have the o with you but yeah that's a good question i could have totally just lied to you but that's a good way to remember it anyway i believe uh, it <laughs> um, hey i don't know what they're talking about but i'm proud to be an otaku i know right <laughs> but that, that's an uh that's a american thing and also relatively a new american as if you ever watch old tv people will be embarrassed about their hobbies it's a more newer, I would say, for people to be proud. I've always been proud. I was known as the anime girl in school. Um, <laughs> so till the period is gonna go to tree. I feel like it hasn't, he hasn't had a turn in a while. Hi, um, doshite anta dake ga tanoshii omoi, omoi o suru no? Um, aranna wa Koboshita. Mane, what's koboshita? Um, so gobose normally means to overflow, but in this case, it is to be grumbling or to be shedding tears, but she's probably just grumbling. Grumble. So Arana was grumble. Uh, why? Doshite. Anta dake ga tanoshi. Omoe o suru no? You was thinking, you was, you was happy with, 
this is hard for me i know this part of it is that um well tenoshi omoi is not official in the dictionary e omoi osuru is in the dictionary which basically means to have a good time to make good memories right suru is what tense suru is non-pass yeah but it's not present tense what tense is it future tense this is yes habitual future Yeah, or habitual. In this case, it's future tense. So saying you will be making memories that are tanoshi, that will be fun. Why are you the only one who's going to be having a fun time, is what we'd say in English. But that's where it comes from. It is you will be making memories. Um, so yeah, here's a good example of the anta versus omae thing that someone was talking about. Here's anta, that is you, but the person talking is Anna, versus omae <laughs> is the boy talking. So both of these are ways to say you. Um, they're, they're not like, do not use this towards strangers. <laughs> these, these are siblings talking and it's okay. <laughs> Wait, Moni, so the twins are one boy and one girl and they are yes, exactly they are the same. fraternal twins, even though they do look identical. It does make sense though, as siblings, if they have the same parents or are about the same age, tend to look pretty similar. <laughs> they're so, also young, so they're. Yeah, they're like 10 before puberty. Pre-puberty. Pre-puberty. And then I go through puberty in this. Uh, but yeah, uh, the rest of this paragraph will go to Stella, I think. All right. Atashi wa saiho ya dansu o nara wanake ri rian. Ria <laughs> Nara Nai Noni Anatan wa Yurito Kasurugi no Kuren Oshite. So, um, what she's saying is that she'll have to like embroider and learn how to dance while he gets to, um, use like weapons and um like a sword and a spear specifically yeah and training with the weapons perfect that's exactly what he's doing yep the no knee here is very emotional very like why do i have to do that ah! and i think we'll stop here so that we're on a nice little chapter um ending yeah, we read two pages. We're on page eight, check. Page nine, check. And now we're on page 10. So yeah, that's about how far I thought we would do. I'll stop 